let me go ahead and open up a step file to demonstrate uh, how we handle uh, various uh, face colors and attributes coming from an external source or from a previous key creator version. Once the import is completed, you'll notice the materials list is automatically populated, capturing any PMI color attributes. It uses names, generic names, based on the RGB values. Notice also that no duplicate material names have been created. Any face that had an RGB or material attribute now automatically gets assigned the generic name. In previous versions, only uh, materials that were predefined had this uh, name assigned. Let's go ahead and show you how face tools now interacts with the materials list. Select my color and then we'll apply it to a series of faces. In this case, it's going to be a series of blends. Once I've completed the application of the color, you'll notice that a new material has been created in the materials list. It's using the generic name and it's also applied that material name to all the blend faces. This leads us to the next major improvement, and that is to be able to filter by material names. Now that we save the materials and assign them to the uh, appropriate faces, we can now filter on them. Selecting the material I just created, which se selects the blend faces, I can use that filtering to make a change. The new filtering by materials can also be set by using the add from entity and set from entity. In this case, I'm going to select one of the yellow faces. It applies the appropriate filtering. And I can go ahead and remove those features that were had the RGB color.